Hello everyone, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, or depending on the time we're reaching you guys. Welcome back to our channel. So good to have you guys back here again. Thank you once again for your continuous and massive support to this channel. God bless you, my people. We pray that even as you support this channel, God Almighty will support you in whatsoever you lay your hands to do. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you once again, guys. Yes, my people, as always, we're back again with latest and most authentic happenings in the country. No government in Nigeria, Buhari, helping Fulanese take over Governor Autumn. We've known this before that uh, uh, President Mohamed Buhari is not um, working for the interest of the country. He's only working for the interest of Northerners. Recall that um, uh, 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 a bishop in Sokoto, Reverend uh, Matthew Bishop Kuka, Bishop Kuka um, stated this, that uh, Buhari was uh, um, sacrificing the lives of, lives of Nigerians for Northerners. You know, that comment he made, they almost, uh, they almost skinned him alive. They didn't like that. Anytime you speak, you expose Buhari's actions and all he does. He, they don't like it at all. We saw the way they came against him. But anyway, this one is a governor who is stating this. is uh, Benway State governor that is stating this. This governor himself has experienced it firsthand. We remember he was attacked. He escaped depth. He ran on foot. He ran a couple of miles to um, save his life. So this, this, he has experienced it himself and see the conclusion he's making right now that there is no government in Nigeria. No, that's a, what he's even talking about. For him to be making this statement and taking this position, he believes in separation as well. There is no government because what Buhari is doing is helping Fulanis. He's working for the Fulanis alone. So it's not, it's not Nigeria anymore. You see why these agitations are rising? It's really unbelievable. Well, my people, I will bring you all of the details, all that um, Benway State Governor has just stated. But before we do, please don't forget to like, share, and to subscribe. Thank you once again. Benway State Governor Samuel Autumn says the incessant killings in the state means that Nigeria does not have a government. He lamented that over 70 people have been murdered in two weeks in Makodi local government area. Autumn spoke to protesters on Tuesday at the internally displaced persons IDP camp in Abangina village. Suspected headsmen Monday night killed citizens and wounded many others. What is happening now? To me, it's very clear. Mr. President is just working for these Fulanis to take over the whole country. He said Buhari's body language is what is being played out and that the action and inaction of Mr. President shows that he's the only president of the Fulani people. Autumn decried that attackers regularly send indigents away from their homes, yet go to kill them where they take refuge. Autumn called them Fulani headsmen, stressing that they are not bandits, they are Fulanis. We saw and heard them speak the language. The Benway Hellsman stated that the federal authorities have been dragging foot on the matter. If the federal government had taken a proactive step, we would not have been where we are. In the last two weeks, over 70 persons have been killed just in Makodi local government area alone, noting that the situation is not acceptable. Autumn said similar killings were going on in Guma and Goa West. Autumn recalled he alerted Nigerians when Fulanis from 14 countries met in Yola, the Adamawa state capital. He said, they declared that except the prohibition of open grazing law was reviewed, Benway will not know peace. The governor wondered why the federal government was yet to arrest the leaders of Mieti Allah that hosted the meeting. It means we don't have a government, he declared. Mr. President must do the needful, and I want to suggest that immediately let there be a security submit. I'm aware that the situation is prevalent in other parts of the country. On Monday, the police command in Benue State also confirmed the kidnap of three students of the Federal University of Agriculture in Makodi. Benue State governor has said it all. These governors, they should stop playing politics. It will come to them very soon. He had just stated it that uh, there is no government in Nigeria. And um, he was so bold to state this, that Buhari is helping Fulanis, that their ultimate goal at the end of the day is to take over the whole country, that Fulanis will be in charge. 
Imagine all the atrocities that these Fulani headsmen have been committing. None of them have been um, prosecuted. How many Fulanis have we heard that they've been arrested or their leaders have been arrested? It's so painful that in the midst of this rising insecurity, Buhari is so comfortable. He is not even doing anything. Nobody, no, no movement. And uh, um, Autumn is stating, let's watch Buhari's body language. That his body language is not for peace. Buhari does not want peace. So you see that that is why these agitations are, are rising. And uh, it's surprising, very surprising that uh, IPOP, the indigenous people of Biafra, they are the ones that President Mohamed Buhari and the federal government presidency, they are the ones they have proscribed as terrorists. What about the, the one that this uh, Fulani headsman, they, what they do is, you know, more than terrorists go to innocent farms, uh, the farmland of um, innocent uh, um, indigents, attack them, hack them to death, maim, all sorts. Imagine the, the painful part is uh, um, the internally displaced people, IDP's camp. These people, they are just, they are, they are just in, in their barest low level, they still go there, attack them. God will definitely visit this president, Mohammed Buhari's administration, and all those that are singing his praises. The judgment of God is coming. And this is so, it's painful, it's very painful. The killings, I said this man, this governor himself, Benway, Benway State Governor Otomi, has experienced it firsthand. And that is why he's stating this. You know, he even recorded that um, a meeting was held by Fulanis from 14 countries where they met in Yola, the Adamawa State capital. This one is a serious matter we're dealing with. And the painful part is that um, if we check um, different parts of the country, different um, regions, southwest, they are divided. They are playing politics. Have you seen Fulanese or the northerners being divided? They are not divided. The southeast, they are divided. See the, 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 the serious attack on southeast states because they are playing politics. Fulani headsmen from over 14 countries held a meeting in Yola, and they are, they, are, they are meeting. What they resolved was that if open grazing is, uh, the, uh, except the prohibition of open grazing law was revealed, that there will be no peace in Benway. That was the, 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 the proclamation they made. And guess what? That meeting was held by, uh, it was uh, organized. Who headed that meeting was Amieti um, Allah. They were the ones that hosted that meeting. Benue State Governor is stating that he cannot understand why Optina, the leader of Amieti Allah, has not been arrested for holding such a meeting you see what we're dealing with what we're dealing with is very serious my people at which we can be united unity is the only thing that will uh, um, end this because uh, our leaders they keep they, they play politics you see all of them um the different governors on the state governor was the one that was stating that uh, uh, uh Odudua republic don't come close here see what they are doing to us see the whole country is boiling right now autumn i just stated that we don't have a government there is no government. All uh, Buhari is working for, all he's fighting for is that Fulanese will take over the country. My people, let's share this news. Let this thing go around. Let everyone be aware of what is going on, what the plot is. Thank you once again for staying tuned. God bless you.